Hi right, guys, so this is about how to find a term when you've got the nth term already. So this doesn't go through how to f actually find the nth term itself. So if you're not sure how to do that, then just have a look have a look back and revise that first. So it's telling us in the example here that t of n, that's the notation for nth term, t of n just means nth term equals 5n plus 2. Find the first three terms of the sequence, then find the 20th term. So you're going to find the first three terms the same way as you'll find the 20th term. So the sentence we have here under uh, the heading is to find a term in a sequence, you sub in an, the number of the term you want for n. So let's have a look at t what t of n means now for a second. Anyway. So t of n equals 5n plus 2. So if you know from algebra, if you've done a little bit of algebra, you should know that when things are beside each other like that, 5 and n, that they mean that they're being multiplied together. So really t of n just means five multiplied by n plus two. So to get the first term then t of one, and that's the notation for first term t of one, uh, what you just do is you do five multiplied by, and then you put in a one instead. So we're putting a one in instead of the n. So that's just five times one plus two. So five times one is five plus two is seven. So seven will be the first term in that sequence. T of two then, and that's just represented by T, T two. So that's the second term. And now instead of putting in a one this time, I'm gonna put in a two to get the second term. So five multiplied by two plus two. And then five multiplied by two is 10 plus two is 12. So just remember bid mass as well, you multiply before you add. Uh, t of 3 then would be 5 multiplied by 3 this time, plus 2. So 5 multiplied by 3 is 15, and then plus 2 is 17. So 17 would be your third term. So we found the first three terms now, and then it asks us at the end here to find the 20th term. So 20th term would be t20. So you're just going to do it exactly the same way as you did the other one. So, But instead now, because I'm trying to find a 20th term, I'm putting a 20 in instead of the n. So it's 5 times 20 this time, and then plus 2. So 5 times 20 we know is 100, and then we add 2, so 102. So 102 is the 20th term there. Right, if you want to attempt this one then, so write down what t of n is first, so I can just start it for you. So t of n equals 3n minus 1. So you're again, you're asked for the first three terms, so you're going to do t1, so it'll be 3 times 1 minus 1. Then you're putting in a 2 next, then you're putting in a 3 after that, and then you'll have to put in a 27 for the last one because that's they're asking us for the 27th term there. Then, So if you just want to pause the video there, have a go at that, and then head on and I'll go through the answers. Right, so uh, t of 1 anyway, we're just going to do 3 times 1 minus 1. So 3 times 1 is 3, minus 1 is 2. t2 uh, would be 3 times 2 minus 1. So 3 times 2 is 6 and then take away 1 is 5. So 5 would be the second term. T3 would be uh, 3 times 3 this time. So you notice here I'm putting in different number each time for n. 3 times 3 minus 1, so, uh, sorry, minus. So 3 times 3 is 9, minus 1 is 8. And then the last one is T27. So now you have to put in an 27 instead of the n. So 3 times 27 minus 1. So 3 times 27 is 81, and then take away 1 is 80. So that's our 27th term.